and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, we got some brand new 1030 content, guys. We got a title update coming out shortly today, probably shortly after 1030. They're usually a little, they're usually like delayed a little bit back after the content. We got limited time signature series and packs. Pretty big names, honestly, today, considering sometimes we get some pretty wacky names in these signature series, but these are pretty good. We gotta see the stats though before we can judge anything. And still gotta watch the stream and everything. As you guys know, I like to do 1030. I give you guys my intro. I catch you on some There could still be more stuff coming out. You'll probably know by the title by the time you see this. But pretty interesting because we just got Super Bowl present yesterday. I expect that we're probably getting an LTD Super Bowl player tomorrow because that's kind of what they've been doing. They've been drop, LTD, like day off. It was like, no, it was like drop, day off, LTD, or whatever, vice versa. You guys get the point. So we have the day off today with some signature series, and then maybe we'll get an LTD tomorrow as well as Super Bowl being Sunday. So I imagine we'll be getting more stuff before then anyways. But some pretty good news here today. Hopefully they give us some news on the title update before I finish this video, so I'll get you guys some info on that. But there is a title update coming today, which last title update increased run committing, so there is the potential for some pretty decent improvements on that, considering that did help with the run game a lot, because people can now run commit, and it actually works a little bit better than it used to. Because run committing for me used to be like, okay, so now I definitely can't defend the pass, and I still managed to give up the run. It was just a very messed up situation. So hopefully we get some good news today. Hopefully they don't mess the game further. But we always got to wait and see with the A. We never know. Now, signature series... As you guys know, they probably won't be up for like 15 minutes. They do usually take a while to get pulled. They're LTDs, obviously. It's just kind of annoying for me when I have to, I got to record them. But, guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We're grinding to 20K, like I say in every video. we got to get to that big milestone. Be one-fifth of the way to the final goal, guys. Not final goal, but one of my biggest goals. So, let's keep it going. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of the signature series, what you think of the potential title update, and any other news I say. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes for the 1030 content, boys? You guys have always been killed. You guys always kill it. Noti gang, go strong at 1030. If you guys are in school and you're watching, I appreciate each and every one of you or at work. Now let's get into the rest of the video. Also, real quick, I do want to address something because you guys were wondering. So as you guys know, EA did do the make right for the Mel Renfro's, which was the LTD 96 Mel Renfro. Because of the whole glitch, you guys remember with the store and the 83 plus Super Bowl player packs, whatever they were called. Let's go to it. If you guys don't remember the 82 plus Super Bowl packs, people were ripping them for... You guys remember for Mel Renfro, right? And if you guys remember what happened, the Make Rights came out yesterday. Everyone got the free Mel Renfro. Now, a lot of people got two or even three of them. And you guys are probably wondering, right, why did you get that? It just happened. It was glitchy. People got a bunch of them. It's not nothing special. Now, remember, what does suck, though, you can't do much with it. The Mel Renfro by itself is literally just a 500 coin quick sell. Now, I don't recommend you quick sell them. I recommend you hold them because, remember, Later in the year, by any chance, I mean, they're not auctionable, non tradable, so they really can't go into sets. But you never know if later in the year there's an exchange set and they can go into them and you can get a nice exchange set value out of them potentially. I wouldn't sell them 500 coins, is nothing. I'd rather have a 96 in my binder. Use the one you guys got, enjoy him. I don't know why you guys got two or three, it was just it just happened. Um, there's I don't know if people haven't got them yet. If you haven't gotten your Mel Renfrew yet, please report it because people got too many. So hopefully, people who deserve them got them. I did not get one. Ironically, this was the first time I didn't open up any 82 or 83 pluses, and I was gonna do a video going over opening them, so kind of wish I did. It would have really helped me out right about now with that free 96 overall cornerback. But I was just addressing that because a lot of you guys are probably wondering why you got that, and I was getting a lot of comments about that. But hopefully that covers that. Now let's get into the rest of the stuff, guys. So some more news from the stream, obviously. So this video consists of quite a few things, kind of a cultivation of quite a few things. So first things first, guys. We got series five info coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, you can either check the EA, uh, the, the notes for it, you could check. Mudhead, you can check the stream tomorrow, or you can check my channel out. I'm gonna be on all available locations. I recommend my channel, probably the most accurate version of it, right? But as you guys know, we got the Mel Renfro glitch covered. We got all that covered. We got Series 5 info tomorrow, which could include release date of Series 5 or estimated release date. It will include include the series redux list so you guys know who will come back in reduxes. Next, because we got quite a few things to cover, guys. There's quite a lot of news today. So beyond the series news info, this is going to be really cool. We're going to know because you guys have been asking a ton, like, right, where Series 5 is. So expect that tomorrow for as far as news that it's not going to be out tomorrow. Next, we got a title update coming as well as new card art. So I'm going to go over the card art first. So, guys, so with the title update, there's going to be new card art. So you're going to be able to actually pick your card art on your cards. For now, it's just NFL 100 players. But as you guys, as we get later into the year and they start, they start updating more from now on, I guess in all Madden, it's going to be you can pick your card art. So let's say right now. On your Sean Taylor. Oh, let's go to a better one. Lawrence Taylor. 
let's say you don't like your Lawrence Taylor NFL 100 card art, you can go ahead and there'll be an option. You click it, you can put his legend card art, his old legend card art, or you can put his NFL 100 card art. His NFL 100 card art is like a really cool memorial looking picture. It'll be a close up of his face with like a nice filter on it with like NFL 100 all time team. It's really cool. You guys probably seen it on Twitter already. I will put it as one of the, my thumbnail pictures so you will be able to probably see it. But beyond that, that's pretty cool. So like, at one point, we're going to get to a point of matter where you can literally pick the card art you want. Let's say you want Barry Sanders legend card art. You don't want his NFL 100 card art. There's going to be a lot of cool options to do with that. So hopefully when the time comes for that to actually be entirely in the game, it's going to look super cool. I'm super excited for it. Next, we have a title update in general. So first off, final regs roster X Factor update. So last time they're going to be updating regular rosters. Le oh, this is a big one. Less pass pressure on run commits. So with the new run commit feature, people were run committing, and it was actually causing your quarterback to throw a lot of inaccurate throws, which was annoying, right? Because if the person's run committing, you should get an easy pass off if you're doing a pass. This made it so that your quarterback was throwing really bad passes because you were they were getting pressured. So if you're out of shotgun or whatever, it will be less pass pressure, so you can still make fine throws. But when you do quick passes under shotgun, I mean under center, it's still going to be impacted because naturally that's always been an issue. Next, wide receiver at running back will fumble more to doing due to being out of position. So for all you cheeseheads running Tyree Kill at running back and trying to cheese the game with 99 speed he will now have a higher fumble penalty so they're going to fumble quite a ton so wouldn't recommend that we're probably better off using like a wide receiver package where he plays at running back somehow rather than putting him in an actual running back because that will impact him new equipment updates such as cleats you know helmets and stuff so nothing too big there and next they are adding a new feature in the game which is probably going to be introduced in the house rules play call downs and play play cool downs and play limits so this means that Certain houses are going to limit the amount you can call a play, which is cool. So for all the people who run the same two plays all game, you're not going to be able to do that. So it's going to limit you to calling a play like twice per game. So let's say you run this route called the route I run post. You want to run it twice, that's it. You're done for the rest of the game. You can't run it again. So it really makes you switch up your game plan. Or they're going to do play cooldowns, which means once you call it, you have to wait a certain amount of time. So it'll be like once you call it, you have to wait 45 seconds. So you probably have to run two more plays without it. Going to really change up the way you play. And then obviously the new card I went over. Now what we have beyond that on the schedule here. Pretty much the signature series, so let's head on over to the screenshots and go check out the signature series card, which is Stephon Diggs and Marshall Lattimore. All right, so first card we have here is Marshall Lattimore, 95 overall cornerback for the New Orleans Saints. LTD can be powered up. Lattimore, as per usual, is always a super fast cornerback. His issue's always been his coverage and press are kind of low, but specifically on this card, powered up, you can probably get him up to a really good standing. This card's looking pretty insane. He's 6 feet tall, 95 speed, 96 excel. That's crazy. 93 agility, 93 jumping, 88 play rick, 94 man. 88 zone, 90 press. Guys, this card's looking pretty insane. This card's looking great. If you power up and chem him up, you will get him to probably like a 97 speed, a 98 excel, 95 agility, 95 jumping, probably 91 play rec. You can get him up to almost a 99 man coverage. If you put John Madden Pasty on him and you power him up and you put Lockdown Max, you can almost get him to like a 98, 99. His zone, you can get to like a 91 and his press like a 94. You can get him really, this is a really great cornerback. Honestly, I kind of want him. It really just depends on his price, obviously. He's probably going to be kind of expensive because that's super fast. You can get him to a, you can almost get him to a 99 speed. You have, you have John Madden athleticism on him and powered up and you have shaker. Or, if you have sprinter, that's 97 plus powered up 98 plus John Madden. You can get him up to a 99 speed. You guys, this guy in man coverage is going to be a beast. going to have like a 93, 94 press with like almost a 99 man. It's going to be a problem in man coverage. Him and Dion are going to lock people up and he's physical too, which is pretty cool. The issue with Lattimore cards all year is he's been super fast, but he's had no coverage. Now he's going to actually get the thresholds. He's gonna play pretty significant. He's gonna play significantly better because he has all the thresholds now. I really do like this Lamarshall Lattimore card. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and pick this card up if he is worth the price. Obviously, I don't think you should buy for more than 400k. I think anywhere below 400k is a solid price. But he's gonna be LTD, so you gotta wait. Signature series typically don't go for a ton anymore, but you never know because they're usually not that great. Now this one's pretty good, so it really just depends. Plus we got Stefan Diggs um, took part in the. Miracle Minneapolis or whatever whatever they called it in Minnesota. I think I said Minneapolis. I don't know if it's disregard that. LTD for the Minnesota Vikings. He can be powered up. So he has a 92 speed, 91 jumping, 94 catching, 90 catching traffic, 94 spec catch, 92 route running, 90 short route running, 91 medium route, and 89 deep. Uh, not a fan of this card. Uh, 95 overall. Doesn't have a single stat above 95. Only has one stat above, only two stats above 93 in general. Most stats are below 92. So not a fan. Stefan Diggs, if you want to make this card good, he needs at least a 93 speed. At least a 93 speed. And his catching traffic. His catching has to be at 94 across the boards. His route running, like, and he's a great route runner in real life. If you made his route running 94s across the board, you made his cat, you left his catching the same, you gave him a 93 speed. You could power him up to like a 95, kept him up, 95 speed. Would have been a great receiver. Not a fan of this receiver. I'm personally, I personally like the Marshall Lattimore a lot more, but that's pretty much it for signature series. Now let's close out this video. Guys, that is about it for the video. If you are into the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Come join the family. Guys, each and every day, let's keep grinding out to 20K as quickly as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think of all this news. Any questions, feedback, leave it down below. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 300 likes for our 1030 video? That'd be greatly appreciated, boys. Note again, always got to go strong at 1030. Really sets the standards for the day. Sets the tone. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.